All right, so I'm going to show uh, how we're going to proceed the project with this mobile application. Um, I think before we get started, let me actually show you the final product, uh, which is this mobile app. All right, so right now what you see here on the screen is my Android phone. So I'm connecting my phone to my computer so you can see the actual screen here. All right, so the phone actually um, it runs this app we build and you guys are going to build it and then uh, it opens the camera and every two or three seconds it scans the view in the camera and try to make a predict prediction now the prediction is based on the machine learning model we have trained in the very first step all right so later on we're going to see how we can put that model into the app and how we can build the app very quickly now first let me give you a demo so in this demo, for example, I'm actually right now, you know, pointing out my camera to different objects. Here's in my office. This is a pen here. So as you can see, as we move and change the camera view, the prediction changes. You know, it's, it says that there are maybe some roses. But then the number shows the confidence. Now the point is three means 30% confident. Not very confident. Now, as you may remember, now this model is based on some of the flowers we got from uh, the data set. And you guys also train you know, different objects, different images, maybe fruit or plant, plants. Uh, I also have some of my own object. But let's actually verify that with the real flowers, that roses or daisy. So for example, right now here, I'm going to type daisy uh, in Google Images. Since I really, I can't really record this in the actual real world, I'm going to just use some of this image to test it. So for example, I click on this image here, there's a big a picture of a daily. Now I'm going to aim my camera all right, to this uh, image here. So please watch my uh, phone screen here. I'm going to basically see this daily image. As you can see very quickly, you know, we can see the phone predict this one is actually daisy and with very co high confidence 0.9 uh, which is 97 percent or we can try to change a different image let's try maybe change this one here all right and then let's look at this again and it still gave a uh, 87 percent 94 percent accuracy so very confident so this model works really well. And I also trained something else. I trained, for example, uh, an airplane. So let me show you how the airplane works. So I, if I search airplane, all right, so a lot of airplanes. Now if I just enlarge one of the photo, and if we aim the camera to here, all right, so after a couple of seconds, we realize that this is actually and their point with 80% confidence, 77%. Um, but the algorithm only remember and and predict this is error point. It doesn't give you other options. So we can try something else. Maybe it's this one here. And still, it is uh, error point based on the prediction. The error point is actually a new model I trained um, by adding some new images. All right, so this is the final product of your project. You should have this app built and you should be able to run it on an Android uh, device. All right, so let's actually go through the basic steps on how you can build this. All right, so let's take a look at how to build this app. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, before we get to this step here, uh, make sure that you are able to uh, use the approach we gave you to train a new model and using all the command line tools um, uh, to build the uh, model with the new images you put. All right, so make sure you can do that and make sure you can actually uh, try and predict some of the images, the new images based on your models. So if you can do that, Actually, let's try and move on to the next step, which is to build the mobile app. 
All right. So for the second part, I have documented everything in this page. So I'm going to send this link to you, and then open the link. You can see there are about ten or eleven steps to follow. All right. So let's follow this, and I'm going to show this step by step, and make sure we understand how it works. So before we get started, let's make sure the Docker is running. All right. So normally you will see a little icon here at the top. If you don't see it, then let's go to the Launchpad. And then click the Docker, this icon here. Let's run this program. So once this is opened and and executed, you should be able to see. And it, it reminds me to update the version. I'm going to do that later. And then you will be able to see this little icon here. And then when this icon turns to green, that basically means the tool is running correctly. So that's step one. Step two. Let's open the terminal. All right. So I'm going to open my terminal here. Here. And let me just、uh, make this bigger so that you can see all the command I'm typing here. All right. So if you open your terminal by default, it will be in this root folder here. That's good. So let's see the third step. The next step is to download this actual project's workspace. So basically, to work on a mobile project, you need to have a bunch of files to work with to start with. So I already built all the files for you, which had been stored right here. All right. So let's see how that works. So You have to run this little command. Just copy and then paste, and then go back to your terminal. Let's just get all the command right here, and then hit enter. All right. So this command is going to download all the files you need to build this mobile app, and then they may take a little bit of time because they're total about 100 megabytes. While we're waiting,、uh, one thing I want to remind you is for this git command. All right. So this one. You know, if you have this tool installed on your computer, this command will be executed correctly. But if you don't have the tool, then you can't really run this. So I actually put the link here. So if you don't have the tool, if you see this command is not running correctly, basically, if you don't see some of this output like this, then you have to install this tool first. Now installing this tool on Mac is not really hard. So just follow the link here, or if you just Google, for example, I go to Google. So how to install Git on Mac? All right, that's going to show you all the different pages tutorial you can follow. But it basically a very popular tool to manage your software. All right, so if you can run this command correctly like this, and let's do a ls list, you should be able to see a folder called TensorFlow dash mobile dash example. That's the folder you're going to use for this project. All right, if you can see this one, that basically means it's correct. And also, before we move on to the next step, make sure you can see this folder here called TF Files. All right, so this should be the folder that you created in the first part of the project, which is to train all the models, put all the images. So if you follow all the steps, you should be able to see this TF Files folder at, at right here. All right, and if you want to make sure that if you do a CD TF Files, do a list, and you should be able to see a bunch of files here. Remember this flower photos folder. And and also more important, you should have something called retraingraph.pb, retraindlabels.txt. These are all required for the project. So if you can see these files here, if you can see all the folders, that basically means you have done the first part of the project correctly. But if you don't have this TF file folder, or if you can't see some of these files, there is something wrong with the first part, and then you have to fix that first before moving on to the next step. All right. So if everything looks good on the TF files folder. That's great. So let's cd dot dot come back to the folder、uh, of your root directory, and then let's see what's going on for the next step. So next step, let's get into the folder. So cd tensorflow mobile example. All right. So then now I'm actually getting into this folder here and do a list, and you can see these are all the files you will need for、uh, this project. And next step, let's copy all the train tf files to this folder. So basically, what's happening is Uh, we have trained your your image for a、uh, model, and we need to use that model in this new project, which is a mobile project. So we have to copy all the model, all the files to this new folder. So let's just run this command, copy dash r, and then the tf files folder to the current folder. If I hit enter right here, that's going to take a little bit of time because you have a lot of things to copy, and then you will be able to see not much changes, but inside this folder. All right. So if we do a ls tf files, we list files there, and you can see you you have copied all the files from the previous tf folder, 
to this new TI folder right here. So basically, we have to move all the files from the, the other place to this place. So whenever you have a new model, you have to run this command again to make sure uh, you got the model updated. All right. So if you can do this, that's great. Let's start to run the Docker. All right. So next step is actually to try and run the Docker. So we're going to copy and paste this command here and back to the terminal to run it. And then if you see this uh, different uh, terminal uh, ID, that basically means you're inside the Docker container. All right, so do ls, and you can still see all the files. So let's verify all the model, everything works. So I'm going to run this command here, and uh, you will be able to see that we can make a prediction correctly, and the image is actually dizzy, and the confidence 98%, that's very high, so everything looks good. Next step is to run this command to optimize the model because the model we're going to uh, put uh, is going to be used in the uh, mobile device. So we need some optimization process. So this process may take some time. All right, so around 30 seconds, I would say. Um, so after that, you are almost done. You're going to do two commands to copy the model to the actual folder for your mobile device. So we're going to run that later on. But let's wait a little bit and it should only take about uh, 30 seconds. All right, so I'm going to copy this first command here to copy this uh, optimized model to the uh, uh, Android folder. All right, so now it's done. Run this copy command. And then run the second command, which is also a copy. All right. So after that, we're almost there. All right. So you are you have what we have done so far is to um, optimize model and put that model into this Android uh, project. So the next thing you need to do is open the actual Android um, project editor, which is called Android Studio. All right. So it's going to be something look like uh, this icon here, uh, Android Studio. Uh, let me find out where it is, right here, so screen icon, alright. So for this one, if you've never done Android development, you have to install this, alright. So I already put a link here uh, in the uh, page, so if you go to this page here, you will be able to see the steps on download Android Studio on your computer, alright. So it's very simple, just click on this 406 megabytes and then install it on the computer, and then you will be able to see this is called Android Studio. So Android Studio allows you to build the Android app. And you don't need to worry about how to develop it because we have put all the Android files here in that folder so you can start to use that. And then you want to open an existing Android Studio project right here. All right, so from here, we want to choose where is that project. So the project, you have to look at the users and then your user folder. So this is my name and this is the folder of my computer, you should be able to see yours. And let's scroll down, and you should be able to see the project folder, which is called TensorFlow Mobile Example. Open this one, you should be able to see something called Android. All right, so if you click on Android and then click on OK, that's going to bring this Android project. It's going to ask you if you need to configure the Gradle. Yes, just click on OK. That's going to import the project. And you will be able to run it, right? So here we go. You got all all the things ready, and then you can see the actual project files everything. All right. So this is the complete project you can run. Now to run this, make sure you have an Android phone, a real phone. All right. Plug in your phone to your computer using USB cable, and then you click on this run button. That's going to build your project and install the app into your into your phone. All right. So. For that step, final step, let me know if you need any uh, any help or have any questions. But the most important thing is to be able to open the Android Studio and import this project and then click on this button run. It's going to ask you, you know, your device, which device to run. And right now I haven't plugged in any devices, but if you plug in the device, you should be able to see your device right here. Click on OK, and then you will be done. All right, so uh, try to follow steps. Uh, but of course, as I mentioned earlier, make sure the first part of the project works, the TI files folder, that one, make sure that one is there. All right, so make sure this um, 
um, I'm talking about this TF folder, TF file folder. This one you have to do it first. All right.